you know that I'm poorer. I cannot perform a certain duty when I'm old. And what you're talking about in two years from now, I'm 57 now. Our retirement age is 65. I'm 57 now. Six years from now, I'll be what? 63. And I cannot work for two years. So the best thing to do is to promote peace and prosperity for this country. So you're not going to drag me into politics until I reach or uh, uh, 90 years old. I had a party of uh, uh, 75 years old. So I'm just telling you, because right now, you know what we face with? Our parents that were in politics when we were young. Our one year old, my uncle was in politics. Some of them can't even walk. We see how we can take the hospital to survive. So when they are 80, they are 90 years old, they still running their politics. Isn't that me? I did not come to politics to hijack politics. I think the politics is going to play a part. I think the politics is going to play a part. Maybe you can say, well, I think you wanted to prove something. And then I will agree with you, yes, I wanted to prove something. And the only thing I wanted to prove, when people say that we are insignificant people, <laughs> and I want to prove them wrong to say that, no, we are not insignificant. Yeah, we may not have the, the scene of or, or possibility that you have, but every possibility that we got, we can make use of it. You understand? So, I will never be president. Only God knows I will be president. I will not do nothing in the here. I will get no wisdom. But if you look around uh, in the mirror, you can see that my fingerprint is everywhere. So, we are not chasing, you see, uh, we are not chasing uh, uh, politics. No. Pray for God to serve. That's why I serve the national team, and that's why I was hoping to serve as president of Liberia. But then, like I said, again, thank you, Liberia, that they gave me the opportunity. Whether it's one time, whether it's fifty times, but I can guarantee you, it's one time. It's one time because I have broken on this future record. Yeah. <laughs> So, I tell you, 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 you understand? Because I didn't come for myself. I didn't come for my children. I didn't come for myself. So this is not, this is not uh, uh, a must. I can, I can promote you. And I want to ask the Vice President a question about tourism because I'm a former yes. official of the Ministry of Information. And even me, sitting in that position, all we used to question why they have an entity called Ministry of Information, Cultural Affairs, and Tourism? Well, basically what that ministry does is just feel emphasis and focus on communication and information. And you look around, see a country like Gambia, see Rwanda. These are countries that are doing great with revenue generation in the tourism sector. You think it's about time we, we approach tourism from a different perspective, including institutional restructuring because what sense does it make when ministry of information is for information cultural affairs and tourism and basically year in year our culture and tourism are buried and even, even in terms of the personnel when you're appointing people to that ministry they are people who basically are communicators they don't know anything about tourism but yet they are managing information cultural affairs and tourism what plans are there uh jmb I, I guess we can make a lot of General allow revenue in that tourism sector if we do the right thing. I have a lot of I have a lot of documentation. Jeremy, if you're going to look for a job, 
to the Ministry of Information, there will not be any Ministry of Information. We don't need it now. Wow. Thank you. Need Ministry of Information. That's a breaking news. Okay, it's another sparkly Monday morning from Odious Congo Town in Minerva, Liberia. Good morning, folks, wherever you are and whatever you are doing. Welcome to yet another uh, thunderstruck edition of the Today Show right here on your favorite dial. Oh, we are coming to you live on Spoon 107.5, Fabric 101.1. Spoon TV Live, Super TV Live, and Fabric TV Live this morning. So wherever you are and whatever you are doing, keep your dial set. This is the Today Show, your most preferred uh, breakfast program. We come to you live from Odious Congo Town in Minerva, Liberia. And of course, uh, today happens to be the 18th day of... Uh, the month of March. And let me say happy, happy birthday to all of you celebrating your birthday on today. My own brother, Christian Zubel, and his Kate, his beautiful daughter, Grace Zubel. She turns one year old today. Happy, happy birthday to your family. And to all of you celebrating a special day in your life today. Well, I'd like to say happy, happy birthday and congratulations on whatever day you are celebrating. So, folks, I'm here with my colleague, uh, Emmanuel Paling David. And, of course, uh, my name is Yekezi Zwobel. Uh, together, Emmanuel and I will be driving through until 10 o'clock this morning with a lot and a lot of training issues on our plate here to discuss. Emmanuel, good morning and welcome to the show. Yes, good morning, Yekesi, and good morning to our audience. As you said, initially, it's a privilege to be here this morning, and I see it as a blessing, and I write. So we're here this morning to serve you a uh, palatable breakfast this morning as we move on straight up to 10 o'clock. So the opportunity is yours to keep uh, your dad set and just follow the show. So uh, for those of you following along, we'd like to say kudos. Thanks a lot for always being there. And uh, we're going to have you up together today. And how, yeah. was the, how, how was your weekend? My weekend, my weekend was great. My weekend was... Uh, I don't want to say, uh, there's a word I don't want to use, but I, I, I just stick to great. It was great. It was great. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it was great. Yeah, okay. so it, it's just that the, the reason why I didn't want to use the wall, you know, I thought of using it was because of uh, LEC. You know, L L LEC makes, makes, makes your night so miserable here yeah, in I know. Liberia. I know. You know, uh, like I said, uh, I usually say on the show here, LEC comes in Congo Town during the day. Uh, work. Probably is because of the ministerial complex because we have the mm. ministerial complex here in Congo Town, and uh, they have to provide you know electricity for um, government employees for government work to be done. Yeah. And so in the evening hours, there's no electricity. Mm. The time that you go to you know lie in bed and sleep comfortably, having either your air conditioner on or your your fan on, you know, there there's no electricity, yeah, and yeah. not not everyone. Uh, can afford, yeah. you know, to buy a generator and to or feed that generator. You know, that is that is costly, very very costly, especially looking at the current situation um, in the country. So I think LEC has got to do more. Yeah, I mean, this is twenty twenty four, and electricity is a basic necessity of life. It's a basic need. You know, so. You know, having electricity still being a problem in Liberia, well, uh, it's something that I think uh, the electricity corporation has got to do more, and more, I, more, more to resolve. As yeah. for me, as for me, I've I've gotten used to it. So, uh, LEC, without LEC, I sleep. I just lie on the floor and <laughs> and have my time. I'm gone. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, but that that that's it, uh, mm. uh, folks. So this morning, let's quickly bring you the weather. Uh, forecast from weatheratlas.com because we've got a lot of issues on our plate 
uh, this morning told this cause. We'll be cutting across the county to speak yep. to our various correspondents. Mm -hmm. We understand that That's there was storm disaster in Bon County, in, in, Bapolo. in, in Nimba County, in Bapolo County as well, mm -hmm. uh, leaving several homeless in mm -hmm. those counties. So we'll be speaking to our correspondents in those counties to tell us uh, more about, you know, uh, those uh, uh, disasters. And uh, yeah, uh, we also bring you other trending issues. But according to weather forecast this morning, uh, partially clouded weather is expected. Minimal precipitation is forecasted for today. Day and night temperatures will present a subtle difference from a maximum of the tropical 30 degrees Celsius and 86 degrees Fahrenheit to a minimum of a moderately hot 26 degrees Celsius and 78.8 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, the maximum heat index, which combines air temperature and relative humidity, is appraised at an extremely hot 43 degrees Celsius uh, or 109.4 degrees Fahrenheit. And this morning, the sun rose at 6.47 uh, and the sun will set later on this evening at uh, 6.54. Uh, but daylight will last for 12 hours and 7 minutes. So we are, you know, having... Uh, a longer day daylight of, yeah. of, of recent. So that is it. And quickly to the CBL's uh, website to bring you the daily exchange rates according to the CBL's Facebook page, uh, the latest rate. Um, so let me read right here. It says, so uh, these are indicative rates according to the CB CBL. These are indicative rates based on results of daily surveys of uh, foreign exchange market in Monrovia and selected cities in Liberia. These rates are collected from the central bank commercial banks, parallel market, and the licensed Forex Bureau. The rates are not set by the Central Bank of Liberia. So the latest rates on the CBO's website for the buying rate is 191 Liberian dollars to one USD. Uh, and the selling rate is uh, 193 Liberian dollars to one USD. That's the latest uh, exchange rates on the CBO's website uh this morning but if you go out there you know um it's, it's going to vary as well you know people sure are enough. going to um uh, uh, um maybe uh, arbitrarily you know increase the rate or decrease it yeah depending on mm -hmm. your location now um so folks uh that's it we 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 will go straight into it because at 9 o'clock this morning, we'll be playing host to um, a Liberian tech innovator. All right. He will be sitting on the platform this morning to tell us more about uh, uh, his technology. He's been, you know, uh, um, um, inventing a lot of uh, very good technologies um, here in Liberia. So okay. uh, we were hosting this morning to tell us more. Those are people that we are looking for sure. in the society. Innovative Inventors, people. people who invent, uh, innovative people, people who sure. bring about new ideas. New Those ideas. are people that sure. uh, we are looking for. Mm -hmm. And uh, once we find one, there's a need that that person, uh, whether he or she, uh, be promoted. So yes, sure uh, he will be sitting, uh, his name is Louis Tiller. He will be sitting on the platform he had now clank this morning to tell us more about uh, his uh, technology. So let me say good morning to all of you watching us live on Spoon yeah, TV this lots morning. Of people are watching. Yeah, um, Stephen A. Hobb is watching from Maggie County. Uh, he, uh, he, okay, so Varro D. Great is watching uh, from Burrowville City. Franklin Howard is watching from Ganta City, Nema County. Uh, Katikri D J G H. I hope I got your first name right. Mm -hmm. Uh, it says from Sankari. What? Please, today I hope you're doing great job. Please keep it. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, Maurice Dudu uh, says he's watching from Cotwell, Panto Elijah. Say electricity is a security by itself. Yeah, sure, it is. Certainly. Uh, Stephen A. Huff uh, comments again says, Good morning, Spawn TV fam. The Jackson P. Smith. Uh, yeah, so, you know, we don't have a lot of time to, you know, uh, call all of you by name, but we try our best to pin some of the comments right down there uh, on the screen. So, uh, thanks for following, and let's uh, have a wonderful, wonderful uh, time together. So, I must do this uh, I, at, at about now, because uh, this has to do with uh, the health of a child, um, this child. 
is uh, seriously ill. And, uh, you know, he was taken to hospital here in uh, Liberia. Uh, but then uh, he was instructed to the parents was, were, were told to, you know, take him outside the country, uh, you know, for advanced medical treatment. The parents will be telling us the exact health complication that he's faced with. And also sending out an SOS call uh, to those of you listening, to those of you watching the show. I want to do this very quickly before we can, you we'll know, cut across. Um, cut across Liberia or go in, into discussing other trending issues in the country. So um, let's uh, talk to one of the parents, one of uh, the parents of this uh, child. Um, you know, when, when it comes to issues about children um, in the journalism profession, it's something that we take very seriously. Yeah. You will usually see, uh, for example, sometimes there will be a, a disaster somewhere uh, where maybe hundreds of people will die. Mm. But the headline will be maybe uh, uh, maybe flood disaster kills um, hundreds, including three children. Yeah. So that is so, you know, a sent to, to it, to emphasis, emphasize, yes. to lay emphasis on, you know, the children that, you know, uh, got, got hurt, as well as pregnant women, you know. Uh, okay, but we have on the line now, Ernest. Ernest, good morning. You are live on the radio this morning. Uh, we have you. We have you here uh, for five minutes maximum. So just go right ahead. Uh, tell us your full name and uh, also tell us the condition of uh, your relative. Yeah. Uh, good morning, Yekasi. Good morning to everyone in uh, radio land. Yeah, uh, I got, I got my, my late niece here by his name or, or, or Injo. Yeah, Injo been with him, a mother, a single, single, or single mother, or a mother been taking care of him. But she went near me here. I would like to turn the phone and over to her for the better experience concerning the late boy because for her, she been taking care of the late child in the Okay, yeah, let's, 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 let's do that quickly, please. Let's do that quickly. Yeah. Okay, we'll do that. Okay. Good morning, brother. Good morning, your, your name. Call us your full name and uh, tell us what's happening to your son. My name is Richard Sangue from Lima County. Okay, Richard. Yeah. Welcome. What's what's happening to your son? Last year, March, in Tose, I came to the Ganda Medical Hospital on Wednesday. They said it was a malaria and typhoid. So they did all the tests, they admitted her to Ganda Medical Hospital. We spent some time there, we killed him. Mm. There was no solution. We went back to the hospital. They admitted us like three times to medical. But then when we killed him now, the briefing condition of the child was not and you no know, good to me. So everybody started talking, what's happening to the child? What's happening to the child? And you know, we took him back to the hospital. Like her. The title, Willie Cotto, really told us to do extra. So when we did the x train and they said large heart. Large heart. Yeah, large hmm. heart. We came from the poor that we spent three weeks there, the poor that we came. No solution. He's not still well. That's so what, we the, what was the recommendation from Dr. Wolika after uh, the child was diagnosed of large heart? Yeah, we went we went to they, they sent us to uh Capital Hospital to go to certain tests they call echo. What is the echo, cause of okay. that? Yeah. So when we went to the hospital, they did the echo and they said they need the child needs surgery. That's the only solution to the, the problem. So can can so, the surgery be, be done here in Liberia? No, the surgery cannot be done here. Right now I was to JFK hospital. I've been there for two weeks. So mm. the people do the the same recommendation was done that I should take the child out of the country. All right. But right now I don't know where to start from. I don't have money, so I'm just begging everybody in public land to help. How, how to old is this child? He is 12 years old. 12, 12 years old. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Which school does he attend? Which class? He's in a sixth grade in a full gospel foundation in Ganda City. Oh, okay. So you are sending out an SOS call there for people to help you take your child outside the country to carry out yeah. this surgery. Yeah. Okay. 
Um, so uh, what's what's what, what's the number? Just in case uh, someone listening and is touched and wanting to you know help, um, what number they, they, this this person can you know, help you through financially? Yeah, my number is zero eight eight zero. Mm. Yeah, go ahead. Zero eight eight zero six eight two nine zero zero five. Okay, you want to repeat that? Yeah. Zero eight zero six two nine zero zero five. Okay. So I'm begging everybody, even down to our country, the representative, the, the, our senator, our senators, our vice president Jeremiah Kuhn, to help me because he's stuck in sleep. He can he he only sleep in chair when pillow is not available. Just like he pray for pillow. The whole mm. last night. He never slept. I'm begging you people. Y'all help me. Mr. Ability, please, all of you that are listening to me, y'all please help me. This child is, is dying slowly in my head because of no money. Okay. All right. Th thank you very much. But just before leaving, just, just call the number for the I last time. I got it here. I said 0880 629005. Yeah, that's it. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. It is zero eight is zero six two nine zero. All zero. right. So let's let's hope that you know somebody is touched yes. or people are touched to help you, uh, particularly that child to rescue him. All right. So um, that is it, folks. Uh, yeah. Mm. I thought to do that because it is uh, necessary. It is necessary. I have everything. seen the child. Yeah. Um, they 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 actually came here at the compound and I spoke with them and I saw. You know the condition the child was in and so you know uh he's in a very very pathetic condition yeah. so i decided to do this on the show here this morning so if you are touched um listening uh to her you can help her um take the child outside um you know the country she just needs uh, finance to you know uh, take the child outside the country so that a surgery can be done as recommended by the doctors here in Liberia. So, um, Imani, you want to read the number? Yes, uh, let me just go over it as you try to connect with our correspondent. 0880629005 is the number to get in touch with uh, the Ildenborg mother. 0880629005. That is the number. Uh, if you want to run a help, you can certainly call that number and you're going to get in touch with them so that you help to save the life of that boy because uh, you don't know tomorrow what actually he's going to become. So you have to help. Perhaps he will be the next uh, Minister of Finance, doctor, someone who's going to come to be immensely in okay. this country. So All right. Help. So um, let's now call across Liberia to talk to our various uh, correspondents quickly. Uh, currently, we have on the line Christopher Fine from Lower Nima County. Chris, oh, what's up? How about you guys here? Let me say good morning to Emmanuel David. Emmanuel, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> okay, you're sounding very lively. I mean, you usually sound lively because every morning you can sort of your GB. Yeah, so yeah, I, yeah. I understand. But how is Nima counted this morning? Well, Nima is okay. And we hear, and uh, the, one of the biggest news so far in the country is the uh, Unico, uh, the United Nimba Citizen Council uh, uh, homecoming day celebration in Nimba. Uh, to be festive, essentially, Nimba Sacrity. Mm. What about that? You want to uh, tell us more about that? Well, uh, normally uh, uh, in December, I, the United uh, the United Nimba Citizen Council normally comes uh, for December break to carry, on, uh, carry out some developmental project in the county. And uh, so this year, uh, some of the last year, they should have done that in a uh, technical year, but due to the election, they postponed it to March. And mm -hmm. uh, so uh, this year, uh, yesterday and day before yesterday was a, a homecoming day program celebration in San Clique, where they brought together some various citizens from uh, the United States of America, from various states in uh, America. Mm -hmm. uh, so they arrived in San Clique and uh, they uh, carry out some level of uh, uh, groundbreaking. They stopped in Toko, Toko Bar, where they broke ground for the construction of uh, a, a modern guest house and uh, a peace house in Toko Bar. And they subsequently moved to Sacred where they also uh, promised the citizens of District Number 7 uh, that are going to undertake the, the guest house project and that of uh, 
the uh, the town hall project, and not only stopping there, they conducted a a, a queen contest among uh, the now electoral district in Nimba. And mm. so district number seven and district number uh, six uh, emerged victorious. District number seven took the first place, uh, where Honorable Musa Hassan Benetti was present. And uh, uh, the, the total amount the queen won with uh, the amount of 162000 uh, uh, Library dollars. Yeah, $840 library dollars. And that was followed by uh, district number six with the amount of for the four thousand no hundred and ten dollars. Wow, wow. So so this they, they, they do this every year is an annual thing. Yeah, it's an annual thing. So that that's the the in and objective of this uh, uh homecoming is to make sure that uh, the citizens the uh, in Nimba live peacefully, the citizens in Nimba have a developmental project that is uh, that they all rally around to to, to, to carry out. So and, how 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 do they um, identify our projects to carry it out. Is there any criteria set in identifying a certain project, you know, to undertake? Yes. Yeah, so uh, they, they work with, they work with uh, the, 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 the uh, leadership on the ground. Unico have a country representation um, uh, in Nima. Mm. Uh, so they work with the citizen. The citizen will, will, will identify which private, which uh, a developmental initiative is key to their need. Okay. And so with that, they're going to pull it uh, in front of uh, the, the, the body. After putting it in front of the body, they're going to subsequently work on it to implement the project for the sake of the citizen. Okay. Okay, Christopher, thank you very much. Uh, any other, we, we, we understand that, that and, 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 uh, even though you are you know far away from San Nicolet, but we understand that there was a storm disaster there? Yeah, there is a storm disaster in uh, Zor. In the Zor region, okay, uh, uh, where several citizens of, uh, of the, the towns were left homeless, and uh, they are calling on the government, especially in Zor Zwale, where uh, they, they where, where is Zor, Zor Zwale located? Is it behind Senegal or in the Senegal region? It's in the Senegal district number three. It's in the Senegal region, but okay. uh, Senegal, as you may be aware, Senegal district number two and Zor Zwale is located in district number three. District three, okay. And so it left several citizens homeless, and uh, they are also calling for uh, the uh, the central government to come to their aid. Okay, okay, Christopher, thank you very much. Uh, let's uh, try to take another person on the line, cause. We don't have the the, the loser of time here this morning. Now, Clark will be playing host to Mr. Tele, Louis Tele. So um, we we'll go Bapolo. Yeah, so let, let's go Bapolo County, where we also understand that uh, there was another, you know, storm disaster that, you know, has left several people homeless as well. So um, let's uh, go to speak to uh, Solomon Tipla, our correspondent there in Bapolo County, to bring us up to speed about you know, um, this incident. If you just joined us, it's a reminder that you are listening to the Today Show right here on your favorite dial. We're coming to you live on Spoon 107.5, Super uh, 95.5, Fabric 101.1, and we're also live on Spoon TV, Super TV, and uh, Fabric TV. We are trying to connect with our Bapalu County correspondent. His phone is ringing, 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 and ringing. And if he does not answer, we'll then go, of course, uh, we'll, 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 uh, we'll have to we'll go to Cape Grand Cape Mount County to speak to CZ Moba. Okay, I hope I have his number here. Yes, I do have his number. Let's uh, connect with uh, CZ Moba from Grand Cape Mount County to bring us up to speed about happiness there. We understood there was a protest there yeah. mm -hmm. um, of recent again. Um, for what reason? Uh, let's draw on CZ Moba. All right. Yeah, I don't know what's happening. Our correspondents' uh, phones are just ringing and ringing and ringing and ringing. But if, if we don't get CZ, folks, we have to, you know, move on. We have to move on because we have a lot to... Uh, talk about this morning. We won't talk about President We has uh, a, a reported request for 25 EPS officers. We want to talk about that. Uh, we also want to talk about this whole hola balu uh, regarding uh, President Joseph uh, 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 President Joseph Waka's appointment at the Ministry of Health. 
for the position of a deputy minister uh, for administration. You know, it's a serious, serious issue uh, that we want to talk about here. Uh, if if they are not speaking, can we make a stop in Grand Basso County to talk with uh, King, King? Yeah, Brown. so, so Grand Basso is going to be our last stop yeah, so uh, just King, in this King, morning. King Brown up and yeah, up. if we cannot get uh, uh, our our uh, correspondent from Grand Basso, then folks will have to come right here in Manorvia to talk uh, some of the trending issues in the country. So Grand Basso is going to be our last stop. Uh, for this morning, sorry, we're not getting most of our, of our correspondence. Their phones are, you know, just ringing and ringing and ringing. I don't know. Uh, yeah, uh, but we're connecting with our Grand Bazaar correspondent, King uh, Brown. He's uh, posted there in Bikana, Grand Bazaar County. His phone also is sure, ringing, man. and he has answered. Uh, King Brown, good morning and welcome. You're live on the Today Show right there on Spoon uh, 107.5 and Fabric 101.1. We're also live on our various TV platforms. Welcome. Good morning to you, Yagasi, and good morning to our many listeners across Liberia. It's, it's good this morning to be on the Spoon platform from Grand Bassa County. Thank you for the opportunity. Okay, how's Bikana? Well, Bikana City, from where I stand, uh, Yagasi is relatively cool and calm this morning. We are experiencing a very good weather condition here in the post city of Bikana. And um, this morning, students uh, are moving from one uh, campus to another, uh, making sure that they can form part of the uh, learning process of the country. And so, yeah, number of things are taking place here in the county, and we have not heard any uh, disturbing situation uh, in either of the five districts across the county. Okay, uh, that's 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 a good news. Uh, you want to bring uh, bring us up to speed with any uh, issue, any news worth the yeah, issue yeah, there? Yeah, the, the, the first the first uh, development here in the county is a uh, Over one hundred and fifty people um, from the five electoral districts of the county are uh, expected to benefit from a free medical eye service today, and that free medical eye service is being sponsored by the. Uh, Samaritan Porsche, a non-governmental organization operating in Liberia, in collaboration with the Government Hospital Eye Clinic uh, that is in Buchanan here, near the concession of Asla Mental Liberia. And so, um, according to the administrator of the, uh, uh, the administrator of Sam uh, Kilby of the Eye Center, the Eye Clinic here in Buchanan, he said that uh, those 150 people who they have targeted, they will be treating them on what he called um, Cataract. He said those that have cataract in their eye, mm. uh, meaning that those who are you know, partially blind, mm. uh, they will receive some sort of treatment in the county. So as you speak, uh, the process has begun. Uh, those who are having a series of eye problems, they are now trooping in at the, uh, at the newly um, established eye clinic in Buchanan to ensure that they can chop their, 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 their eyes as to whether they are suffering from or they are affected of glaucoma or Cataract. But specifically, this initiative, according to the administrator of the eye clinic, Mr. Sam Kilby, mm. this initiative specifically to focus on people who are affected by cataract. Those who are uh, blind, uh, well, those who are partially blind, and they are making sure they can provide the necessary treatment for them. They provide uh, the glasses that will help them to read, reading glasses, sunglasses, and all of that. So the target is people who are between the ages of 50 and above. But according 50 to them, and above. If, yeah, 15 and above. Because according to them, they said that it's, it's, it's a normal issue. People who are, uh, have, who, are, who, are, who are experiencing cataract over the eye, it's a normal issue that comes along with age. As people get older, mm. they experience, at times they experience it. But there are other uh, uh, cases who, according to them, may also be affected by the situation. Some of them, they, 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 they can contract um, the, the, the sickness from uh, breath, uh, from the appearance to them. And mm. all of that. So, if uh, anybody who have that, who, 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 anybody who has a child or got a children and a children experiencing similar situation, they also ask the public that they should make sure to go to the arsenal so they can check. So, so this this, this is only intended side. for citizens of Grand Bazaar County, or uh, is this is is open to every Liberian? Well, what 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 what, what uh, the administrator said? He said that this initiative, this is the third time across Liberia, mm. and he said that it's happening in. Uh, in different parts of the country. It is not only Grand Bassett County. So oh, okay. every year, there are partners who sponsor this initiative to ensure that they can address some of the issues that affect... So it's, 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 uh, it's, going, on, it's going in, in the 15 political subdivisions, Dallas. 
what he said out of the 15 political subdivision is happening in six, six counties. counties in Liberia. Okay. And what are those counties? Well, he talked about Grand Basel County as number one. He talked about Mosterado. He talked about Nimba. He talked about Bond County. He also uh, spoke about, about bombing. bombing. So these are places that the initiative is taking place. So he said maybe next year, those counties may not be selected and then they will prioritize the other, the, 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 the other counties that were not included into how, the whole process. How long is this initiative? Well, for Grand Basel County, he said the initiative will go for straight four days targeting okay. different locations and area. Mm. So today is Monday. Mm. They will address the situation in Basel and tomorrow they'll be making their way to compound number three that is electoral district number four mm. where they will also treat people who are also have similar problem mm. then uh on wednesday they will mm. make their way to the civil compound in electoral district number two where they will also treat people and then on thursday they will make their way to orange grove uh to also treat some people at the orange grove uh, clinic and then right after that then they will conclude with their initiative Okay, that's a very, very good, good initiative. And I, I hope, you know, um, Liberians, Liberians uh, having a problem uh, can go there and get tested and treated as well. But thank you very much, uh, King Brian. It's been a pleasure having you. Thank you so much. You can see I'm glad this morning to be uh, fattered on the platform this morning. Yeah, low power, you, know, you featuring me on some other issues. You're welcome. You're welcome. We hope to do so every day. Uh, let's let's try to reconnect with uh, our Bapolu County yes, so uh, we, correspondent. We, uh, we understand there was a disaster, a storm disaster that left uh, several uh, individuals homeless there in Bapolu. So we don't want to go without talking to Solomon Tipler. Uh, to give us some details about that um we hope he picks up or okays his call this time around uh yeah so uh his phone is is again ringing 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 all right so folks uh don't go away uh in a couple of minutes we hope to be playing host to our uh guest here he's louis Tede, um uh, an in the victor technology liberian uh, uh technology inno innovator uh he's gonna be here to tell us uh, more about his innovations some of those things that he's uh innovated right here um in the country technology wise uh, let's talk to solomon tipler now he's on the line solo good morning and welcome good morning Yekazi. good morning to our many listeners this morning how is bapolo county it's good this morning except uh this uh troubling news uh, we got from one of our districts, Kokbama district, where heavy storm damaged the homes of 15 different family heads, uh, 15 houses, and some residents in the area are currently homeless mm. uh, over over the weekend. Oh, wow. Tell us more about that. Um, uh, is, is, is this something that, you know, is, is it the first of its kind for such a disaster to happen in that part of uh, Wapoto County? Uh, you can see this is not the first time I think I reported uh, about this storm victim where we have more than 300 residents in one of the town called Bakweta where a heavy storm hit that particular town. So except, uh, especially for Wiswa where the incident took place, this is the second time in Wiswa, Bama district. Mm. So, so have there been any intervention from uh, the National Disaster Management or any uh, eminent citizen or humanitarian in the county? Yes, yes. Uh, the the disaster management team moved in uh, on on Saturday because the incident took place on Saturday evening, and yesterday, which was Sunday, uh, the disaster management team moved in uh, to help some families, members, or some of those who were affected. Uh, by that storm and even Bapulu County Senator Boto Kana was also there uh, on yesterday at least to help give uh, some of the victims full and non-full items at least to start up with their lives. Oh wow. Okay, so you, you said uh, how, how, how many persons got, got affected if you should estimate? If we, if, we, if we want to do the estimate, it will be about uh, about 100 persons because uh, we have 15 houses that, that got damaged. Okay. And, you know, uh, especially Whisper Town is, is one of the mining camps mm. in Bapulu. So, you know, you have more than two, three family heads in one of the, the houses. So about 15 houses got damaged. So when we 
approximately when we are we are uh, uh, telling you how many persons got affected by this storm we'll be talking about 100 or 100 plus mm. okay yeah that's 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 so sad um yes like you said um some local government officials have come and uh, intervened um in the matter but, but where are those uh, affected squatting right now some of those uh, who got affected from this storm are, are squatting with family members and some friends uh, in the town. Uh, currently, as we speak, they are squatting with uh, some family members and some of their relatives or uh, some of their friends. Uh, because you know, uh, being knowing the fact that our uh, Wesua town is is a mining camp, so some of those who homes were not damaged, people are squatting uh, in in their places at least so to await. Or some humanitarian support to have their their, their homes uh, reconstructed. But Babalu County is is a, is you know expected mm -hmm. to be a county where there are many trees mm -hmm. and stuff yeah, like that. So what's 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 what, what's happening? Yegazi Yegazi is 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 really hard to know as to but Wiswa Town, especially for Wiswa Town, Wiswa Town, you don't have much of uh, forest. Oh, there, there's not much Wiswatan. forest there. Why is, is it yeah, because yeah. of de deforestation uh, as a result of farming activities? As it, not really deforestation because of farming activities, but it's a mine. As you may be aware in Liberian history, you used to hear about Wiswa, Wiswa, Wiswa. yeah. So, yeah, so the mining have damaged uh, most of the, the, the trees that are supposed to be holding uh, some of those uh, future disasters, like the, the storm, heavy storm moving in. It, it was well, because of the mining activities that have been uh, taking place over years, or over decades. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I hope um, the uh, national uh, disaster uh, management can intervene in that situation because that's you know, um, a huge number of people affected there okay. by a storm. So I so hope, uh, say over, yeah, over, over 100. Yeah, uh, 100 or 100 plus, that's a huge number of individuals affected. So I hope, uh, you know, um, the disaster management can can intervene. You know what's uh, happening there in Bapolo County? You want to bring us up to speed with uh, before leaving? Yeah, quickly before I leave you, uh, as you may be aware, the government of Liberia have turned over uh, some of the forests uh, to the, the land owner, meaning the citizens, uh, to at least find a company that will be moving in so that they can be able to benefit. According to the Forestry Development Authority, they, they have given uh, a forest, authorized forest right to one of the communities in Bopolu District, Bapulu County, to be specific, the Bundi Mandingo uh, Community Forest. But uh, in time past, we've been, we've been, uh, some citizens have been having serious uh, problem with the company that was operating in that particular uh, community forest, which is the Indo Africa. Indo Africa, it, it will interest you to know that Yekezi, uh, Indo Africa have three names. They mm. have one wood operating in Grand So They have, they had this other company, other branch of the Indo Africa. They used to call Sim Africa that was operating in Lofa. Mm. Now, when they came in Bapulu, uh, their name was changed. Instead of Sim Africa, they came and, and started using the name Indo Africa. So Indo Africa has operated for over five years in this particular community forest. Mm. Even though all of their operation didn't go for the five years because we had the issue of uh, this uh, coronavirus and the rest of them. But now, the some of, uh, one of the co affected communities, which is uh, Bakweta, they are now calling on the government and and local authorities in the county to move in because mm. they have beaten themselves from the six affected community. A few days ago, they had an election for the executive committee members mm. and also the community forest management body election is yet to come. Maybe it will be on the 22nd of this month. Now, when we ask them, some of those reasons they gave us for which they decided to back out from the six affected community now considered to be the five affected communities because they have distanced themselves. They mm. said uh, because of mis mismanagement of uh, the previous uh, 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 executive committee members, they were not reporting to them and, okay. and they, were not, they were not giving them bits and pieces of information as to why uh, the company decided to leave. Not so really now the company. Hello. Yeah, so um, we just want to hold you there. We might call you later on to, you know, continue that development.
because at the but now we should be playing host to uh, a guest here and the guest is already here in studio uh, there are other key issues we even want to discuss before the guest comes on so um, let's let's hold you there we might call you later um, to continue with that uh, particular development all right yeah, thanks for having me this morning all right thank you very much so he saw that he's Solomon Tipla our uh, Bapolo County correspondent there uh, speaking uh, and we already have our guest here in studio we'll be joining him very shortly but there's this very important issue I want us to talk about um, yeah um, it's, it's, it's important that you know we talk about this quickly uh, just before joining our guest here uh, this morning so um, that was an appointment that the president made there at the Ministry of Health. Um, Roger Doma, former representative of District Number 7, was uh, appointed uh, Deputy Minister for Administration at the Ministry of uh, Health. And uh, one mother, a forgotten um, term to get her last name, she too was appointed as Assistant Minister there at the Ministry of Health. But there has been some hullabaloo about the appointment there. Firstly, there was this um, in information, this, this rumor that, you know, the president's uh, appointment was manipulated by some folks there at the Ministry of uh, State for Presidential Affairs. And um, that rumor accused uh, Colina Kratoba of manipulating that particular appointment. All right. So um, I'm just trying to get something here very quick. Uh, yeah. Okay. So uh, following that Roman or attributable to that Roman, the Ministry of State came up with a press statement signed by, you know, um, the. Uh, 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 what's her name? Fofana, Kula Fofana, the presidential press secretary uh, at the executive mansion. So she came up with a press statement debunking this particular statement. You know, firstly, it was speculated that, you know, because uh, Colina Kra allegedly manipulated the appointment of the president, and so uh, the president suspended her. So the Ministry of State came up with this release on February 24, 20. 24. And I'll read this. It says, uh, Executive Marshal Manuvia, the office of the President of the Republic of Liberia, His Excellency uh, Joseph Yuma Boakasinian, is concerned about information circulating in the media about an alleged action attributed to the President. The information alleged that President Boaka had suspended the Deputy Minister for Administration of the Ministry of State, Madame Colina Kratoba, for alleged involvement in the appointment of government officials. The office categorically states that the information is unfounded, false, and misleading, and is the work of fake news. At no time did the president take such an action. Meanwhile, moreover, sorry, the office of the president states here that all nominations and subsequent appointments are the responsibility and prerogative of the president as guaranteed by Article 54 of the Library Council. So we'll stop there, not, not even go further. So this press statement following that rumor that someone, particularly uh, accusing fingers were pointed at Colonial Crowd Tokba that she manipulated the president's appointment. Where in uh, Mather, because Mather in the release from the executive mansion uh, of the president's appointment was appointed assistant, assistant minister at the Ministry of Health. And Roger Doman, the former representative of District 7, Nima County, was appointed as a deputy minister. So there was this information that, you know, this rumor that uh, the president had appointed Mather as deputy minister, but then that was changed, that was altered by, um, uh, uh, allegedly altered, let me say, by Colina Kratoba. And it was following that that the executive manager released this press statement. All right? Yeah. So this part of this press statement says that the office of the president here states here that all nomination 
and subsequent appointments are the responsibility and prerogative of the president. So that is to tell you that the president is telling you that the appointment of Roger Doma was done by himself. And the appointment of uh, Martha as assistant minister was done by himself. Nothing was altered. That is what essentially this press release is saying. But we are still getting different information. Um, about this, what? I think, I think uh, there should be an, uh, to authenticate who actually yeah, uh, uh, hosts the position. Uh, there should be a, an authentication within that press statement because I don't know. Because, uh, so it, now, it, 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 listen it, it, now. What, 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 what kind of uh, authentication do you need? So there was this room on that a particular position. Um, uh, or someone manipulated now the president. You have, you have the president a particular position where you have two persons. So this is why the press release says mm. the this the, the the every appointment made. This by the press release, it said every appointment made uh, is the prerogative or the the, the president. Yeah, course, I know the president's appointment. So the press release made it clear. So except now you want the press for the press release to mention uh, the name of the person who were appointed to this position. The appointment's already there on the executive manager website. So okay. you go there and see it. So if there was any manipulation, the press statement would have mentioned yeah. that. But because there was no manipulation and it was the president himself who, you know, made the appointment, of course, that is why the press release uh, said it is the responsibility of the president. But then... Um, the national, there's a group uh, claiming to be National Health Workers Union of Liberia. The release of press statement when? Um, on March 12th. And this is what the statement says. It says, fellow health workers, distinguished compatriots and uh, members of the fourth estate. It has been uh, three long weeks since His Excellency Ambassador Joseph Barker, Senior President of the Republic of Liberia, identified error, an error in the nomination process at the Ministry of Health, wherein Comrade Martha C. Morris initially designated for the position of Deputy Minister for Administration was uh, in uh, was altered to Assistant Minister for administration. Regrettably, it has been increasingly apparent that the Liberian presidency has been hijacked by forces responsible for this correction that are wielding influence to an extent that appears to surpass the authority of the president himself. That act, Their actions suggest an autonomy that allows them to act at their discretion, regardless of the president's directive Notwithstanding the negative impacts and consequences it has it has concerning who is in charge of this administration. Moreover, attempts to seek an audience with the president since February 8, 2024 have been met with an with extreme difficulties, raising concerns about the transparency and accountability of the uh, correction process. In light of these developments, the National Health Workers Association uh, uh, uh Nau, spanning all 15 counties, is utterly troubled and expresses its deepest concern and utmost dissatisfaction with the prolonged delay in the implementation of the president's directive. We, the Health Workers uh, Association of Liberia, believe that the correction should be promptly executed without further delay to facilitate the confirmation process by the Liberian Senate and mitigate the hostage holding of the health sector of our country by few for personal interests. It is disheartening to witness the willful undermining of the president. So so I, I, I don't know because this National Health Workers Association, um, I, I, I made it my business mm. to, because the National Health Workers As Association comprises um, several, several associations, including um, the president, the National Physicians Association, the National Nurses Association, the National Midwives Association, the National Pharmacists Association, and the National Doctors Association. You know, so if such a statement is coming up, if this is a collective decision 
from the National Health Workers Association, then all of these, the heads of this group uh, or this organization must be in agreement with this particular statement. But I, I made it my business to speak to uh, some of them, like to Phyllis, the National Physicians Association president. Mm. He said he's not aware of that statement. He's not aware. They are not part of it. Likewise, the National Nurses Association, and these are two key associations. I mean, all, all of the associations, Certainly. you know, are, are key, but we're talking about the National Physicians Association and the National Nurses Association. They are in dominance, you know, uh, and they are telling me that they are not aware of the release. So perhaps it will so be. So where is this release actually it, coming from? It will be if you. It's a question. It will be if, if you have where, people. Where is this release coming from? And the releaser is, is, is saying something contrary because uh, contrary to what the executive mansion posted. The executive mansion release did not, you know, uh, say that he had identified any error in the, in the appointment by the president. Rather, the releaser, the president takes responsibility. It's essentially say, saying that the president deliberately made a decision. It wasn't a mistake that he made. So why would you come back to say the president's, uh, there's a, you know, the president, uh, you know, make, make uh, yeah, that, yeah, he said he made an error and the error needs to be identified and uh, the identification process is prolonging or is being delayed. Mm -hmm. So I will place a call uh, shortly to uh, one of uh, the associations here, the head of the physician um, in the country, the president, um, to tell us whether he's aware of He's aware about this statement. There's a need that uh, we do this uh, to, you know, uh, avoid misinformation or mm -hmm. uh, disinformation uh, from going out there. So I'm, I'm now calling uh, Teophilus of uh, uh, FIA. I hope I got the name right. He's the head of the National uh, Physicians Association. I'm calling if he doesn't answer. Then I'll, I will shortly call um, the head of the National Nurses Association to also uh, speak to this. Whether they are aware about this particular press release uh, on the 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 the, the, the Banner National Health Workers Association, because all of those organizations comprise the you know they are components of the National Health Workers Association. So Tefillas is is not uh, picking a score. Let me call Benjamin, who's a Head of the National uh, uh, the Nurses Association of the country. Uh, once we place a call to him and he speaks to all for one or two minutes, then we'll join our guest, uh, you know, to commence this discussion about his innovation of uh, technological devices in the country. He's uh, Mr. Louis Tiller. He's already here with us in studio. Uh, so you are listening to the Today Show right here. Okay, so we have uh, Mr. Swami. Mr. Swami, welcome. Uh, thank you. How are you? You are live on Spoon TV and uh, Spoon FM, uh, Fabric FM as well. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, sure. So sorry, sorry there's, uh, yes, uh, sorry if, if, if I took you by surprise, but I, I think I called you earlier and we talk. Um, but th there's this release, there's this release on the Bandit National Health Workers Association calling on the president to make some rectification in, you know, appointments that he made. Is this release, uh, does the organization know about this release? Uh, okay, I was... I was I have I was actually all the countries I have traveled uh, along with my LG and I in Rwanda, Kigali, before the, doing that release. Mm -hmm. uh, and actually leaving the vice president for administration in charge of the institution. And so I was in Kigali when that release was forwarded to me. And so I got a call place to him as the vice president as to whether he was in the know of the release. And he clearly told me that he was not in the know of the release. And he did not sanction the release, and he was not in the know of that release. And leaving him in person of the association, and then he's not in the know of the release, meaning that the association was not in the know of the release. Okay. So the, the, the National Nurses Association uh, was not 
uh, did not consent to that particular release of Certainly. And I can tell you that there, there is this thing I want us to clarify. Mm. Uh, Liberian Nurses Association is an institution in all of, so where all the nurses are part of. So I being a nurse does not mean if I if I if, if I am a nurse mm. and then and then I'm a part doesn't mean the institution is a part. So we need to understand that the institution okay. is an entity okay. the individuals are separate. Okay. So I've been the president, and then I'm traveling. I let the vice president in charge. So if the vice president who left in the charge of the institution had actually consented to the release, it means that was at the acquiescence of the institution. Institution. But I clearly, with all of the well, all of the 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 the, 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 the comments or whatever interrogation, he had told me that he was not in the know. And in fact, if it was so, he would have you are you are you have been. Yeah, but such such, such 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 a, a release under the nomenclature National Health Workers Association. And your institution being uh, a component of the National Health Workers Association, um, your institution should, should should have been in the know of that release, right? Uh, certainly, but uh, that one thing we need to have, we need to we need to get very clear that uh, my institution, uh, National Record Union, and uh, and myself don't have an MOU where I would say you need to consult me so you can release. Okay. So uh, I, yes, I agree. I, I I control the life on life value of the the, the health worker workforce in Liberia, the Liberian Nurses Association. All the nurses are part of the the union also. But there is no MOU that say that one I don't agree, they don't release, right? So that get it to very well. They operate as an entity, and I okay. operate as an entity. Oh, so, okay. Uh, yes, I operate as an entity, and they so 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 so, so 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 that I is. Okay. I don't. I don't have to consent. You 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 don't, don't have to approve. Them. You can disagree with them, but then they can still I, go ahead and sir, release sir, that statement. Sir, okay. I, I, I do understand. I, I do understand. I can agree and I can disagree. Okay. But my agreement and disagreement clearly got nothing to do with how they operate there. Oh, okay. Okay. That that's yeah. that's and that's then, understandable. And then, and then, and then vice versa. Uh. If I were to issue um, if I were, if I were to issue a press release from mm. the Nigerian Nurses Association. My entity, my constitution gave me the right to, to steer the affairs of the institution. I can do it without the consent of National Record Union okay. and so vice versa they do. Thank you, thank you. I, I, so, I, 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 just, I just wanted to know whether, you know, your institution was in the know of that release. No, thank you. No, certainly Liberian Nurses Association was not in the know of that release. Thank I was my vice president and I was not consulted as president. And thank I, you. the vice president I left in person, Mr. Ellis L. Bond, had clearly told me that, that he was not in the know of the release. So thank Liberian you. Nurses Association was not in the know of that release, I can tell you for sure. Thank you very much. Mm. And a lot of uh, other institutions that are components yeah. of uh, the Nurses Association yeah, were also think, in the know of that release. Mm. Like the, uh, the National Physicians Association, they were in the know of, of, of that release. So yeah, uh, folks, we just want to, you know, uh, talk about that because that is, uh, it's, it's something uh, that, yeah. that 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 is is causing some you know hollow balloon, uh in the public about that particular position. So the president has appointed, leave the president appointment. Mm -hmm. Don't try to thwart the president appointment for self interest. We are understanding that there are some big hands at the Liberian Senate who are trying to thwart that appointment because. You, as a deputy minister for administration, you will be operating out the, the whole uh, uh, ministry of, of, of health. You're the operation person there, you know, at, at administration. You over administration. So know, we, we, it, are it, it, we, we are understanding. We are understanding. It is interest driven. We are understanding uh, from there that, you know, some big hand at the Senate, <laughs> that is you wrong. know, um, they want their confidence to go in that particular uh. position. You know, so that tomorrow when they're doing the budget and thing, they put at least small point point in the Ministry of Health budget, they can be able to get it out to that person. That why they're doing it for. Yeah. But the man who did none and trust the man. <laughs> so the one, the lady to go there, yeah, they are, they are come, you know, it, it is the, the, the lady that they confine. Yeah, and, and I think that is wrong. Uh, yeah, and that is wrong. And the, uh decision should be based on merit, not, so, not, not, not having your confidence. Yeah. So we don't have much time. I guess you will have to. Yeah. So um, we have in the the studio, um, Mr. Louis Tele uh, as our guest, and uh, uh, we will take a very short break. 
uh, to be back with him. You're listening to the Today Show. My name is Yekezi Zobed. Don't forget to play the radio game. We forgot to announce it ever since, but it's, it's on. Open. Star it's 7, open. Nana Hatch. Star 7, Nana Hatch. See that number three for Spoon FM. Choose how to pay the playing fee, which is 70 cents US or 100 Liberian dollars. And of course, you stand a chance to win 2,500 Liberian dollars. Let's take this break uh, to be right back here with you. So welcome back. You are listening to the Today Show right here on your favorite dial we have in our studio. Uh, uh, Mr. Louis Tele uh, is a Liberian tech innovator. He's right here with us uh, for the next hour. Uh, we're going to be having a conversation about uh, his uh, technological innovation. Those are people we're looking for here in Liberia. You know, uh, innovative people, people who bring about new ideas to create opportunities not just for themselves but you know um for others and that is exactly what uh he is involved into uh he's right there with us in studio uh mr teller welcome thank you very much it's a pleasure having you here uh, thank you mr. I can see you some more. okay thank you very much i'm happy to be here all right is, is, is also good having you. So you are the head or the founder of the Tele-Technical Services. Yes, indeed I am. Okay, so tell us more about this Tele-Technical Services. What is it about? How it came about? When it was funded? And everything. Well, the Tele-Technical Services is an institution that create devices. It is intended to teach young people uh, the idea of technology, train, have them train, and to enable them to be able to contribute meaningfully to society. Mm. And the institution was funded, I mean, was formed rather, since 20. 14. Oh, since 2014? Yes, indeed. Wow. So that is, you've been in a Zixen for a decade now. Yes. Wow. Wow. Yeah, so um, what, 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 are, what are some of the involvement? Uh, what are some um, um, technological innovations or some of those devices that 
you know, um, this institution has been able to um, create? Well, as I said, it is actually based on creativity. Creativity. Yes, that this institution was formed. And as you may know, we have come up with many devices, mm. uh, including a communication device, in intercommunication, which were created since uh, 19, 1978. It was created mm. up to 19... 1978, you, you created that? Yeah, 1978. The, 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 com the intercommunication was, was developed. Okay, by whom? And by after, you? Yes, I, I, I came up with that idea. Okay. And at the time, I was a student at the Buffalo High School, mm. and it was installed in the school to enable communication between the vice principal and the principal at the time, uh, Mr. Paul Riches and his vice president. Uh, how, 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 how was that like? You want to give us a, a, yeah, a, a picture, a description of how that was and how it worked? Yeah, the inner communication system was, it was developed and it, it had a ringing system Mm. to call the attention of the next person that you want to communicate with. Okay. And it, it will develop, it have some system of of, of innovation. You call the, the vice principal, vice principal call the, the, the principal, and they, they communicate among one another. And there was also an extension in the classroom. They, communi they communicate on the device from distance. Yeah, from, and they uh, get, from a distance. From they room, hear from each room. other loud. Very loud and clear. Hmm. That, that was so. What 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 what, what 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 did you use? I don't know whether you'll be able to say this, but what did, did you use to put that together? Well, the 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 subject was actually based on a, a microphone. Let's say a, 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 I had a microphone. Hmm. That I had the the capabilities, and I used an amplifier. Okay. I use an amplifier to in order to have two-way uh, com communication system, mm. and I use some uh, system like bamboo, bamboo stalled plank, mm. and I was able to put it together to have the output that was loud and clear to enable communication between the student, the principal, and the vice principal at the time. I, I attended Buffalo High School in Banga Bon County, to be specific. Mm. Yes. And how how effective how effective was that? And and how 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 long did it work there at the Buffalo High School when 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 you were there? It, 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 it was effective. It worked. It worked for about a year. Mm. Uh, upon my my departure, I left it there, and maybe there was no maintenance. Okay. So since I left, and the second. Another one so was, that was that was your first innovation. That, that was the second. The second because the, the first was a a, a touch light that contains a radio. A touch uh, light. Yeah, that was developed in in, in Banga. But they were the first one. Uh, it was presented to President Tabo at the time. All right. Okay, and the so president. That is, you've the been late, into this thing for a very uh, long time. Of course, yes. The late president was very happy to have his citizen, you know, a little boy still in President Talbert. Yeah, President Talbert. Mm. I, I was yet in junior high school upon graduation when I developed that. Okay. And I was presented to the late President Toro. A torch mm. light? You a want torch. to give us a description again of that? Well, it was a torch light, actually. Uh, it was very bright. It used, at the time, eight batteries. Imagine eight batteries. I used a very a good bulb at the time. Mm. Uh, it was like a, a bicycle or bulb that would shine very well. Mm. And it was powered by eight batteries that were 12 volts. Okay. And it had a radio also attached to the flashlight. Do, so do, 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 we have, do we have a picture of some of what you're talking about here so that we could just display it? Yeah, some, some, are, some, some, some are visible. Okay. Like, like the, the, the clock game. The clock game was developed in the 80s. Okay. Okay, it was intended to promote the accuracy of time. All right. Time 
and, and the important you, you call it what the, the clock the, the clock game or clock oh, yeah, game. Uh, 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 it, it, it is a product of the mother mother purpose cloud game okay he has few games including the cloud game and, mm. and this was this is the one that will that will display you know and call the attention of, of president samuel do samuel in, in 1983 wow and he played this so you you've, well. you've got two you've talked about two presidents now the two presidents oh, two late presidents two late presidents, presidents uh who have seen Exactly. You know your 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 invention. Exactly. Exactly. Wow. And, and, so and they did they did make use of it as well. How 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 did they make use of it? But President Doe played the game. Oh, President Doe played the game. President Doe played the game. The game. The clock game. Uh -huh. And he was a winner. Oh he wow. Happy. And President Tobra used the touch lights at the time. Okay. And so the both of them made use of it. And what 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 were their responses? Well, uh, President Thomas at the time uh, awarded me a scholarship. Okay. And President Doe was able to give me a contribution of five hundred United States dollars. I was in nineteen eighty three mm. to enable me. That was a big money at the time. Uh, it was very big. I was very much a student at the time. I was very happy about it. And it, it was a starting, you know, of technological innovation. Okay. okay. All right. So I have a question. Uh, are you are you are you actually uh, yeah passing on this knowledge to some youth to actually uh, uh, do similar what you you've been doing? We are coming to that point. You know, this is. Liberia, mm. and uh, you can have the intention, but to have it Im implemented is another thing. Okay. I've, I've had a project presented to government in order to enable us pass the knowledge to students, which is very essential. You know that is another aspect of knowledge. You got to pass it on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to so pass it on. So I'm passing it on. But it's not as effective as if I had uh, the resources. The resources to actually set into motion what I intend. Mm. In, in my little way, I mean, I am. Yeah, but I'm, I'm seeing other devices here. Um, uh, here on this book, uh, a device that was also that was also used by President George M. Weir at the Jamaica Resort. Uh, yeah, two different uh, devices I'm seeing here that were used by President George M. Weir, and he's the immediate past president. You want to tell us more about that? Yes, indeed. I, I think it is necessary to start with uh, President Salif. President Salif, yeah, before okay. coming over to President, uh, the former president. So I'm almost yeah. all, all the president of, of, of oh, yeah, recent, I, you know, I have. But the 80s all the way uh, from the 70s the 80s 70s the 90s, 80s the and yeah okay um the 21st century okay i you know as an innovator mm. when ebola broke out in the country it was very devastating and it was widespread and it was something that was spreading that was killing our people so i saw the system being used as the fight line of prevention. The, that is a bucket. You go and open the faucet with your hand. Yeah. And you wash your hand. So when I saw that, as I thought it was very primitive and it was not safe. Okay. Because Ebola was spread by touching. So when you touch the faucet, there was not it was not safe for another person to come and touch the same faucet to wash hand. Mm. So I decided to recreate. The Ebola bucket All right. to to make it more accessible. So I had the thought that it was safe to just step on the pillow. Okay. And the faucet open, and the water pulled, and you wash your hand. When you release the pillow, then it closes instead of touching it and opening it with your hand. Then after washing, then you gotta close it with your you hand. Close it with Again, your hand. it was not safe. Okay. So I. I 
I created the device to be more safe in dealing so with you, Ebola. So you're talking about this one, so, right? Uh, so this one, yes. Yeah, that. This one? Yeah, exactly. Okay. And that, that, that the first one so that was uh, presented to President uh, Salif. President the, Salif. The late uh, President Salif at the foreign ministry where he where she used as the executive mansion. Did you say the late so, President Salif? No, the, the former president. Okay. Uh, former, former president, president Salif. Salif. Okay. Sorry. And she used it for three years. You know, Ebola okay. broke out. Uh, 2014 at a foreign ministry's uh, office. At a foreign ministry office, in, and all the government officials use it. The employees of the Ministry of uh, uh, Foreign Affairs, as well as the Ministry of State, mm. and others, visitors, guests, diplomats, dignitaries, all use it for three years, mm. and everyone appreciated. And they said that it was. The most safe method of washing hands. Okay. Before that passed out, and President George Weir, George Weir came to power, and there was this outbreak of COVID, COVID nineteen, COVID nineteen, and it was another devastating moment. As you know, the whole world was locked down. So I again modify the system. And it was standard to the time of President Weir. He used it at the foreign ministry. He used it as a resident. He used it as a Jamaica resource and some of his installations. Mm. And I did work very hard to make it available for the public as well as at the president's office, a resident, a recreation center as well. Okay, and 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 what did the two uh, recent presidents, you know, do? You know, uh, how well did they embrace? I mean, you, you said President Salif embraced it; she used it and everything. Um, but um, did 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 she, you know, um, help with any form of uh, uh, empowerment, financial, material uh, in, in, in empowerment to, you know, help expand this? That is another part of the story. President Zedi used it. She it kept her safe. She and her cabinet ministers, employees of the ministry. Mm. But actually, it, 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 it was in north. The, the inventor was in north, even though it was very much safe, useful, appreciated, but the inventor was never appreciated. As you know, this is Liberia. So you you weren't appreciated by President Salif? Uh, not at all, not to my knowledge, because... That is financially she, or materially? Financially, morally. Uh, you, you know, right after Ebola and some people who didn't even do as much contribution as I did mm. were recognized and, 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 and appreciated as... Ebola fighters. Yeah, Ebola fighters. And, Ebola and heroes. And more in the summer, we agreed that I was the main fighter. Okay. Because One of I the did, main fighters. Yeah, I created a device that was used device. to that fight Ebola. The and, 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 yeah, and other people were only there to, to tow their body. When, when, when people were dead, they went and buried them. Mm. And, you know, and they, they were recognized as the Ebola hero. But this too is Liberia. Mm. Yeah, this is how. So you felt Liberia. frustrated when, when that happened. Well, I, I felt happy, but never. I'm never frustrated. Okay. Uh, because I, I'm a man who is focused. Okay. Yeah, who is focused on what I do. So I, I'm never uh, frustrated, but rather I'm empowered by the wrong things that people do to me. Okay. Now Ebola has gone. Uh, coronavirus. Uh, mm. has also gone and we are in 2024 under the regime of uh, uh, President Joseph Yuma Buaka. So what is your latest undertaking or latest innovation? Well, I have again recreated the photos that I use, president photos that I use as well as vice president photos that I use in establishment 
in public places, in other areas as well. Mm -hmm. I have recreated that device to now, not only sell as pictures, but you, the thing, picture now is now a device that can show time. You have information system, you have entertainment system as well. Oh, the picture. Gives, yeah, the picture gave some of the speeches of the president as well. It plays some of the speeches. It plays some, the of, some of the speeches. I'm, 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 I'm seeing one team. behind you. you yeah, just, can, we, can we display Yeah, you it? just want to display it Let me on, on the process. screen. Something like this. Okay. Good. Let me... Okay, yeah, you know, it's on. You want to carry it up a little bit? We must not just recognize the pain and frustration that permeates our society but also work together to introduce and pass legislations that will prioritize economic reforms and foster sustainable economic growth and so job creation. Okay, stop. You, 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 you so, this one. so you you can stop it at any time. Yeah, yeah. Without control button over here. Okay. Revenue collection has reported for 2023 stood at 710.23 million US dollars, while expenditure total 796.32 million. Oh, wow. And a large budget deficit of, of over $18 million. Yeah. We intend to change the state of economy by thinking outside the box. A paradigm shift away from reliance on our primary commodity export. Wow, wow, wow. That is addition with the private sector. Uh, that is amazing. To drive the economy. That is amazing. So you have this, uh, stop it. You, you have this picture. I, I, you want to bring it yeah. here for, for, for me? So uh, you, uh, let me, let me carry. Okay. okay. You have you have one no that that that, that, that you just hold that one yeah, because we, yeah. we have to display that yeah, one display this. yeah this is another so one. so what you are listening to for those of you in radio land who aren't seeing anything hmm? you are listening to a picture of ambassador joseph yuma buaka in a frame is being it has been created in a way where you have you know some of his speeches where you can just press a button on the picture frame and then the speech or speeches of the president who just play and this is nicely nicely designed very nicely designed that's a very very you know amazing amazing innovation for those of you who are in radio line and i'm seeing one there in his hand um for the vice president of the republic and he's also, you know, uh, going to uh, display that for us, and you know, uh, probably we're going to hear speeches from the from from the current vice president as well. Yeah, thank you very much. We are in the process of having the vice president speeches available. Okay. But for now, okay, we have it. Okay. <laughs> So that the picture of frame oh, playing music there. Actually, amazing. A picture frame, you know, playing music. It's been created in a way where it plays music and it even plays um, the speeches of the president, depending on whose uh, president picture it is. 
the one we have in our possession here uh, uh, displays the, the picture of uh, Ambassador Joseph Yumabuaka. And there is a bunny on it that as soon as you press, you know, his speeches will begin to play. So what is it using? How did you create this? Is it using a battery? Does this battery run, run, run out? Uh, and all of that, you just want to tell us about that. Thank you very much. The, you know, we made it in a way that it is accessible. It has uh, rechargeable batteries. Rechargeable batteries. Rechargeable batteries. Okay. That can be recharged at any time. And actually, it is intended that the speeches will be heard at every hour, you know, every hour that stretches, you hear oh, another okay. speech. So on, have, on, 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 on this picture, design. there's a clock. There's a it's, clock. It's something that we didn't, we didn't show. Okay, you know, we... There's a clock. You can see the clock right there. We are actually stretching the importance of time. As you know, people usually talk about librarian time. There's nothing called librarian time. But because we don't respect time, mm. that's why we say librarian time in order to be detracted. When the brand man say five o'clock, then it means six o'clock. That should not happen. So we have this mm. picture showing or displaying the clock as well. The clock. The clock. So whenever about the importance of time. Okay. The importance. So whenever it reaches a particular hour, a, another speech. So another will speech heard. will be played will be automatically. Automatically. On every hour. hour on every hour, hour that reaches. A, a different speech will be played. Different speech will be played. Exactly. That how it should happen. Wow. This is this is so this is a reminder. So so amazing. Every hour. Wow. <laughs> exactly. Okay. So we, we see one of this and one for the vice uh the current vice president Amy Do. You said you have not yet inserted the speech, uh speeches of uh the uh vice president, but there was a music playing exactly. um also. So have, have, have you taken this to Ambassador Joseph Yuma Buaka? Has he seen it like other president? you know, had done with uh, your devices? Yeah, as, as you know, uh, I have seen all, almost all the president of my time. Yeah. I have displayed. From Tobra to Tobra to Do, to Salim, from Do, to we are, And now yeah. President Buaka. Yeah, President Buaka. Has he so seen this? It, it is in, not yet. Okay. It, it, I have written President Buaka already. Okay. It's intended to be displayed and to hand it away to, to him, His okay. Excellency President Jose Nima Buaka. And okay. No, very soon, I will have an audience to, to make it possible for him to have that device made available to him. Mm. And also, uh, 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 other other maybe government institutions may need it. Other librarians may need it. You know, for their personal use and all of that. How can they get these devices from you? Yeah, as you know, this. Picture is placed or displayed at every institution, as well yeah. government institution, private yeah. institution as well. Yeah. So we will be in a position to to design and produce most of this. Okay. Very soon we'll be doing that because it's necessary to take them to the various government institutions for sale. As, as, exactly. Yeah, and I'm and I'm, I'm quite sure once you take them there, they are going to be bought. They they will definitely be, but because this is this is very 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 amazing, very very amazing. So 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 what about uh, some citizens who want to have these things in their home? Well, yes, the citizens are, are, are as well will be served. Liberian people will be served as well as, and uh, even foreign or dignitaries can be served. And we are available to serve people who, you know, we appreciate. Our effort, and how 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 do these people contact you? People, well, maybe those listening. There are a lot of people listening right now. A lot of people watching also on the TV. Some are telling you congratulations. Some are amazed about your innovation and out of that. So, just in case they want one of these or two yeah. or three or four, how do they contact you? The numbers are available, as you can see. The little brochure carry my number as well. Okay. The two numbers, the both the 
orange and the loan star numbers are, are displayed and they are going to be made available. Yeah, you, you, just, you just want to read out the number? Yeah, for, for example, those in radio land? The orange number is 0 triple seven five one triple three one. Okay. Yeah, triple seven five one triple three one. Then you have the loan star number with zero eight six five four three seven. I mean five four nine five three seven. Zero eight six five four nine five three seven as well. So th there are still some devices here that we haven't talked about. Oh, okay. Yet. So uh, just just before going to those devices, upon you know seeing uh, this particular uh, device, uh, what what do you expect of the president and uh, the vice president? What's what's your anticipation? Well, to tell you the truth, mm. the reason why we are at the level where we are now, being the uh, liberal oldest republic. It is because we have not yet begun to put into action what we learn. Okay. Mostly, we say the lack of knowledge, the people perish. We are not using the knowledge that we have to solve most of the problems. As Liberian oldest republic, we should be the country or the people in Africa. So, so that that Sony, Sony Gibson is, is asking you to uh, reread your Lone Star number. She's watching from California. Okay, the Lone Star number is 0865495 Okay. I'll be glad it, Sony. Yeah. You, okay, as, as, as I was saying, there's a need for us to get involved in creativity and that needs to be encouraged so i'm taking this to both the vice president and the president of the republic of liberia so that they, they may be able to give support to the mayor in liberia initiative that the president mentioned about in his speech there's a need to promote creativity innovation not only for me but for any librarian that is ready to get involved in creativity in solving problems. There are a lot of problems in this country that we need to solve through creativity. As you see, this is not only, these are only evidence that we, we can do more. Yeah, sure. There's just a little one here, but we can do more that is to help move our country forward in various ways because people are talented in, in different dimensions. So mm. we need to buckle up as the librarian may say mm. because we are yet very much lacking behind when it comes to other countries that were just yesterday mm. or independent country who that just got independent when they are very advanced and ahead of us, we need to double up. And it is only true creativity that can help us move ahead. So now, um, here you are, you've taken this device to President Joseph Yumabuaka. I am 100% sure if he sees this, he's gonna be very amazed. Um, a picture in a frame covered with a glass, uh, glass, sorry, it has a clock that, you know, uh, on every hour, uh, a speech of the president will be played. That is when it's 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, up to 12 o'clock, whatever hour that reaches, you know, the speech of the president plays. And you can also play, there's a button on this picture frame that you can just you know, touch and the, the speech of the president will also play. Mm? So you have taken this to the president. Uh, he's amazed about it. And he's asked you, what specifically do you need to make this bigger? What would be your direct response to the president? 
I mean, I need support, support in all dimension yeah. in order to to be able to to contribute in, in even a bigger way mm. because we are going to make sure that we modify this device in order to be able to do even more work to make it more useful mm. but we need to be empowered through uh, what you call through the, the kind of effort that can be made for us mm. to be able to to do more. Okay, you name empowerment. So empowerment. So, so uh, uh, empowerment is, is yeah, it's 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 it's, 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 it's broad. Yeah. I mean, uh, uh, for me, you just tell the president we need empowerment. The president don't know how much money you need for that empowerment and all of that. that that's what I, I, I'm asking about. What specifically, like how much you will need? To invest in this, to make it better, to produce more of this, or to even bring about, to create uh, 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 even different uh, uh, devices to include more people to impart or pass on the knowledge to other Liberians. Yes, you know, you know, Yagazi, just to add up to that question, mm. I think that is very important. That's why you see, uh, uh, not to be racist, uh, the 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 white. They are, mm. they, are, they are far ahead because these uh, these things uh, uh, they, they, they they pass it on to the younger ones to have to have it going and not just having one man just doing it. So uh, in terms of what you guys have said, uh, what would be some of your recommendation to government to have this uh, something that will be that is that that will be ongoing probably when you are not around. To tell you the truth, mm. this when we talk about opportunity, it cannot be measured in terms of financial sum right now. Okay. But we need opportunity that can enable us, that can empower us to be able to contribute to the well being of society. But we cannot measure it in you, it now. you know, in, 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 in terms of financial sum, okay. you say this is the sum of money, yeah. you know, that is needed. But you agree that we need support, we need opportunity to empower us to move ahead, to do more, but not to come up with, with an amount. You will agree with me. Okay. All right, uh, let's 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 uh, let's let's move. Oh, you say you have other devices there. Uh, these so are not the only still, devices. Not at all. Okay, let's get to see the others you have there. Okay, when a fellow who served as a student in the United States came on a vacation sometime back and complained in the eighties, he complained that. He was very busy as a student each time he went to school and he came back, he was just tired. Mm. And he said he put food on the stove, it would get burned because he would fall asleep and the food would burn. So we decided to design a stove that can be operated by telephone. Stove. Okay. Stove that, uh, uh, that can be operated by telephone. Stove that can be operated by telephone. You set up the system in a way that when you are out, mm. either in school or what have you, either at work, and when you are about to come home, you just call the number that is assigned to the to, to the cooker to the stove. Mm. Then the stove will turn on, and the device. We cook your food. I mean, a night nice rest. By the time you reach home, your food will be ready, and you just dish out and start to eat. Instead of coming from home, uh, so in fact, instead of coming home before, you can start to cook. Mm. So that is intended. So you to are make it saying easier. you yeah. have created uh, a stove um, that has um, a telephone number attached to it. Yes. All you need to do to 
put on a stove is to call that telephone to number. Call that telephone number. And automatically it comes on. And if there's a food or there's a pot over or on top of that stove, the pot is already placed on top of the stove with the ingredients. With the ingredients and everything. Exactly. And then your food will start to, you know, uh, cook. It start to boil exactly. until you can reach home. And when they can so, reach home, okay, it, 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 it is designed a way that when the food is well cooked, when the food is it, well cooked, it, it, it cut off, it goes off automatically. automatically. Oh wow! And when you reach home, the, the food is already cooked and, and still hot as a hot meat. And, and to tell you the truth, it was it was displayed at the UL, uh, the University of Liberia. The University of Liberia. Mm. And you you can see. I, I just like for you to look at it, to take a look at it. Mm. And the student, how, how how long is that video? Have a nice time, uh, in a few minutes. The how have how a, long is that video? That particular video that is playing, so that we can get it on here. Yeah, yeah you, you can. It's about uh, uh, ten minutes. Oh, it's, it's too long. It's too long. We we need to edit it. Yeah, you, so, yeah, to have it play here. You, you can add a display. These are these are U.S. students. Yeah. Okay, so you, you just want to maximize it on your computer. Sorry, uh, yeah, we should have had that video earlier. Then we have edited it, the key parts of it, and then we just display it. But do 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 we have picture of that stove? Yeah, picture of the stove is here. Yeah, let let let, let just um so get picture of the it. stove. Just, yeah, just pause yeah, just pause it. Okay, just for say, let's just the where the, the picture of the the, the stove is in the, the the brochure here. Yeah, the picture is in the brochure. This is it. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, that's it. Is this it? That is the stove. Is this it? The, yeah, that, that's it. And then say it again. Exactly. All right. That is the stove. So there, there's a stove that he's he's talking about here. You can see down here. Uh, where am I pointing? Right here. Right there. Right here. No, that, that is not the, 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 the one on the next page. Okay, this one, right? Okay, yeah, yes. This one, okay. That, that is the, the one. This one. It is designed so is in a way that it is attached or it connected to your, your number. By the time you call the number, the pad will open first, then the stove turn on, and the water will pump into the pot. It will pour from the upper level. When the water is pumped, it will close. Then when it boil, then the pot open for the second time for the rest to pour into the pot. And it's well cooked. By the time you get home, your food is your prepared. Your food is, is prepared. And you just, your food is not going to burn. Once your food is well the food cooked, is well cooked, it will cut off automatically. Up automatically. Exactly. Automatically. Wow. Exactly. Wow. Another very, very amazing, amazing innovation. Like you said, he displayed it at the UL, but uh, we don't have, you know, the luxury of time to edit because it's a 10-minute video, and we can have that 10-minute video uh, on the live screen, so it has to be edited, and that is going to take uh, some process. But that is, that is very interesting. You having a stove, you know, um, wherein um, you don't have to be home before or you, you don't have to be by the stove before putting it on you know there's a telephone number yourself or a number attached to the stove all you need to do is just call that number and the stove comes on so while you at work you can call the number so that is you can even place your food on top of the stove before going to work yes, right? everything. Yeah, season yeah, everything. You season it, everything you measure the uh, amount of water that's the water stove. is already have a compartment. Yeah, everything is that. Have a container and yeah, like and then you, number of, you go to work. Water. Maybe uh, your 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 work finishes by maybe four o'clock. So maybe mm -hmm. by two o'clock or three o'clock, we are about to come. You just put it on. You know, you you call the number, the stove comes on. And then the food starts to boil, 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 boil. What is current? It uses. It, yeah, it uses current. Okay. For now, it uses current. So when it's well cooked, when it's well cooked, it stops. The stove stops automatically. You come home, you mean your cooked food on top of the stove. You just have to take it now and it's dish amazing, it up. Though. Exactly. Dish it up. Exactly. So so amazing. So so amazing. So so interesting. And uh, 
Yeah. Um, t tell us, tell us about this. You say it uses coin, right? Yeah, it uses coin, mm. and it, it, you know, it designed a way that it has. The rest is not in the pot. Okay. The red had it compartment, right? Yeah, it had a compartment. The rest and the water as well. When the water boil, mm. before the rest will pour into the pot. Mm. Yeah, after that, it closes and wow, allow the cooking process to continue. They get well cooked, and it cuts off. And when you get home, your food Enjoy is your meal. ready. Enjoy your meal. Wow. This is, this is so interesting. We will have to go to the lines. Is there any other device you want to talk about before we go to the lines, to the phone lines, for you know people to call in and you know uh, give their contribution, uh, input about you know your innovation? Yeah, yeah, let's just briefly talk about electric gates. The electric gates. That was designed by me. Okay. Okay. It was my, my work. Uh, the gate, you know, usually you see people. Is it, is it also in the brochure? Yeah, it, it's in the brochure. Okay. There are people who have gates. Did you say? Yeah, that, that, yeah, that's a gate. Okay. The gate is designed in a way that it is moved. By electricity. Okay. You press the button and it closes. You press again and it, it opens and close automatically. And so a pushing gate, you know, it's also for security reason. Okay. You can fast close. Then when you are pushing it, okay. It's good to to have it designed in a way. That it can even operate on on remote control. You just remote stay, stay at a distance and use the remote control on the it gate. Close on the gate. It closes and automatically. It closes automatically and open automatically. It opens. So we we design that. So when, when, when you say electric easier. electric gate, isn't that going to be harmful? Is it something that maybe because the gate is definitely going to be an iron? So is it something that when you touch, you know, you're not going to have any electrical? No, no. Actually, it's not. Uh, is that harmful in that you know it's controlled by motor? A motor so the okay. motor is only connected to the electricity, not the gate itself. Not the gate itself. Okay. It's only movable. Okay. Exactly. All right. So electric gate again. Why well, you can just use a remote to open the gate and use a remote to close the gate. You don't have to, you know, even have a security uh, gate may sign that will be opening and you know closing um, the gate. So uh, there are folks that are asking for your number. I don't know whether your number is on the brochure here. Uh, is, is it the numbers on the brochure? Exactly. Yeah, so uh, let me read out your number again. 086 for the new star, 086 549 0886 549 uh, Five one three 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 one zero triple seven five one three 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 one. That's for the orange. You can also uh, can I call the email also? The, can can, the, can the, you be contacted the, the, by the, the, the email, email? It's actually not effective right oh, it's, now. It's not effective right now. Yeah. It's, okay. it's not effective now. Okay. So now let's 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 get to know is is this do you have this stove in huge quantity is are you selling it right now um are people buying it or uh, it was just if the first sample you did I, I, actually I made the first sample okay but as you, as you you know now we have right now we have illiteracy the problem so we we're trying to recreate the stove so that it could use Batteries. Batteries. Yes. So that because of our electricity problem. Yeah. People, you know, when you, maybe you will leave home and electricity will go off, and you may not know. So we want to make it ready at all time. Okay. And so I'm, I'm in the process of re redesigning it for it to use, you know, batteries. Uh, it, it may even use solar system that is controlled by battery. Okay, so you don't have the, the 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 first sample. You are contemplating on how to, you know, uh, redesign it 
you know, so that I can use ba battery instead of electricity yeah, because yeah, electricity. in Liberia we got serious electricity yeah, problem. problem with electricity. Yeah, we got serious problem with electricity. Yeah, uh, yeah. So, uh, folks, that is it. Uh, folks are asking uh, me to, you know, put the number up, and that is exactly what I'm trying to do. There are a lot of folks watching online. Uh, folks are listening to you. So let me try to, you know, uh, post the number on the television so that those interested can be able to, you know, contact you because this is an innovation that I think uh, people need to tap into. The government um, uh, needs to tap into. Those are people that we are looking for. Innovative people, people who will bring about new ideas, that will create opportunities, that will create even employment uh, for other Liberians. That is very, very essential. So um, I hope this idea is uh, embraced by the government. Uh, and like you say, you need support. Uh, you need empowerment from the government to help expand this particular idea yes, so guess. i'm actually trying to you know uh post a number uh, on the live screen that's what i'm trying to do right now mm -hmm. so just uh, pardon me a little bit uh for those who are watching live okay so there is the number if you in uh the united oh, states or if you're abroad now you just have to change it to your to your own code all right, so uh, that's his number. So we'll now go to the lines to speak to our listeners. And um, as well, uh, if you want to call us on WhatsApp, we will be, uh, you know, pinning our WhatsApp number live on the screen. Let me try to do that uh, right now. Let's try to pin the WhatsApp number live on the screen so that if you want to call, um you can call us live if you are watching a lot of people want to call uh you know uh, this morning so let me put on the orange line so the numbers to call us on are zero triple seven double seven one zero seven five zero triple seven double seven one zero seven five uh zero triple five one zero one zero seven five we have mr luis teller uh he's uh the head of founder of the tele technical services that has created uh a lot of you know uh technological devices in this country where several presidents have seen ranging from president tobro to president samuel kayan do president Salif, president george we are and then now he has designed this very beautiful um picture um uh that bears the photograph of uh ambassador joseph Mabuaka, the current president of uh, the country and this frame you are seeing here is not just a frame it has a lot in it it plays the president's speech the different speeches of president joseph yuma Mabuaka, and it also has a clock attached to it. you can see the clock there you know uh and that clock I uh, once it's 10 o'clock on every hour, you know, it's going to play a certain speech of the president. If it's one, it plays the president's speech. If it's two, it plays another speech. Three, it plays another speech. Just, just like that. Just like that. That's how it operates. And this is very, very amazing. All right. And he's hoping to speak with uh, the president of uh liberia he also did one for the vice president uh jeremiah Pankun as well and uh yes uh he's hoping to you know have an interaction or an audience with uh the vice president and the president of the republic of liberia so i'm also trying to pin the whatsapp number on the screen here so that you can be able to call us uh for those of you uh, watching us live on WhatsApp. So you can now call us on 777 are the numbers uh, to put you through. Call us and have 
y'all see here this morning. Uh, for those of you watching us, the WhatsApp, the WhatsApp number is pinned there live on the screen. Let's talk to this person. Uh, good morning, your name and where you join us from. Good morning. Good morning. Your name and where you join us from. Your line is terrible. Please uh, make some adjustment and call us back. Let's talk to this other person. Uh, hello. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Let's hear you. I'm Edward Eddie Larry Kamoka. Yeah, I just want to be very, very appreciated to your student guest. Yeah, what you do with education is that what you do with your education, your impact in life. Let me you see your hand work. So I think it's time to appeal to the government. Let me uh, take it here into consideration that we can work with him, that the lot of youth. So those who are interested in these things can, can get education. They very help our country. We go other countries to talk about who are and the engineers who do things, the channel, are things that they do in the various schools that, that people go to our country and buy these things. The same, the other thing that they made, but I think the teacher was. So we have the opportunity for him to read we have the opportunity for this to see this man that we can work with, with him, that mm. we can benefit from him and the entire country can benefit as well. Like the electric gate is very, very necessary. We put the the school we talk I appreciate him for hard work and I really ask that comment you Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's talk to this person. Good morning. Uh, good morning. It is you live on Spoon. Oh, okay. Actually, I did follow the program. Sorry. I just want to get one or two information. Sorry. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, let's talk to another person. Here. Good morning. Good morning. Let's hear you. Your name and where you join us from. Thank you. Uh, my name is Prince Maya. I join you for... Kind of USP this morning. Let's hear your prints. Yeah, let me appreciate our uh, our film brother in studio. Uh, I think the government need to lift it. Taking thirty thousand for for a student break, it will not help me like billion. I think you need to invest more in people who first add beer that brings me in, you know, they kind of add beer to our own tree. But I want to know the price of the store and then what are you looking for earlier because selling you know, the product you need, people who are ready and you know, at least you know, and the spot and they're taking for the show and the opportunity. Okay, thank you very much. Let's talk to this other person. Hello, your name and where you join us from? Good morning, you guys. Good morning to the listening public. Let's hear you. Yeah, my name is Agassi, calling from District 6. Let me say thank you so much to to you for the invite, for, for bringing on board our, I mean, our, our, our studio guest this morning. Mm. You guys, I think these are things that we, we government need to prioritize. That there are a lot of people with a lot of skills in this country. So I think the question that we, we look up to our own to so we can try to, to, to build more avenue that people with skills, with innovation, can be able to come on the spot line and they can be supported by government. I mean, this is definitely government effort. I mean, when we need a dream, those who have the, the capacity, those who have the ability to reach out to this, to, this, uh, to our students, mm. I think they need to do so because this is very in, in, I mean, encouraging and interesting. I think this is, this one will also help to cut down some some of the expenses that all people made when it comes to to, to household utilities. I mean, the store is very. I mean, I didn't. I was watching the show. I saw. I mean, the, the show. I, I saw the, the picture. I saw some of the things that I mean. He, he been working on. I mean, it's, it's so much unique and it's so interesting. Thank okay. you so much this morning. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's uh, talk to this person. Good morning, your name and where you join us from. Good morning, your name is Kevin Wilson, calling from Brazil, Magritte. Henry, let's hear you. Yes, uh, I'm going to hear Mr. Peter today. Uh, I'm a biology teacher, and uh, same for you when you uh, teaching, they tell you to outline some videos about it, including some library scientists. And uh, he's one of those who research always do, which is Chris, Dr. Nyan, and David Kuranko. So these are people, these are um, household names uh, that we always teach in the classroom. I have not known him today. It's a good opportunity to hear him. But he didn't give all the information concerning himself because for the listening audience and but for the knowledge stick for us who are teaching the class who want to know is Louis Peter. He didn't he didn't actually give all information about him, his education, where he learned all of those things. And my question is whether he has any uh, plan of creating a famous school where students who are interested into those crafty acts to be part of it. 
And because you can see, I think you ask him a question whether they have that unit from government. What is this? He did not give any explanation. Well, we want you to be clear whether you want to create a school. What is the help? Let me be, you know, definite. Right. So that's it. Thank you. Thank you very much. We'll take one more call and call this a day. Good morning, your name and where you join us from. Good morning, I'm Emmanuel Bone calling from New Georgia. Let's hear you, Emmanuel. Well, I want to say thanks to the fellow in the studio. These are the kind of people that we need in our country. But what I want to say, government is responsible for why people today additions are killed. You have the free zone. The free zone was created for that purpose. Okay. For Latin, uh, 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 who had the chance to do such what our brother had done. But you can't hear nothing about the free zone. And people from uh, vocational school and honor school, they just really around. Nothing the government do about it. And the other thing, the, the, the killer factor in our country is the labor ministries. And according to this government to attention to, to re-establish the free zone, like that brother there, he could, he could, he could, he could open lab here and tap in there and, 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 and two people could have to not add here. So I think especially all that matter. And today, the, 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 the free zone is getting laid that in the room. So, I tell the brother, and I hope the government will pay attention and try to help the brother so he can be able to empower others. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, you are our last caller for, 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 for the show today. Uh, let's go back to our guest, uh, Mr. Tiller. Mr. Tiller, you listen to the various callers. Is there anything you want to respond to? Yeah, thank you very much. I do. I'd like to say thanks to the caller for their concern and their effort in appreciating uh, what we have done. And I heard someone talk about education. I didn't, I didn't mention education. I didn't mention any background. Okay, Louis, that's my name. I hail from Bon County, and uh, I. I'm a United Nations trained senior technical officer. I'm trained as a senior technical officer by United Nations. And I also hold a master's degree in management. And uh, my intention is to have opportunity to open a big training school so that we will be able to teach that are librarians in the technical area. People who love to work with their hands and mind mm. so that we can be able to take Liberia to the next level. Because we don't have a lot of technical mind in this country. We don't have technical people. This is one of the reasons why our country is experiencing a hardship. The reason why we are experiencing as citizens, why we are experiencing a lot of hardship is because we don't have technical mind, no technical institution. A lot of people are not trained to be able to contribute to the forward movement of our country. So our intention is to open a school that will teach people how to come up with working devices. Okay. To help our country move forward. Okay. Is there anything that you want to say that maybe uh, we didn't ask you? Well, we, we, it is a living fact that our society does not support innovation. Our society does not support people who have good dream, and a lot of time people who we interpret ourselves as dream killers. For example, in the past, we made a proposal to be able to have a competition that will enable us to select people who have the, the children who are the acute, mm. you know, about science and technology. We made a proposal at the time to 
the National Oil Company, um, Noka. Mm. And Noka turned it down and said our idea was good, but they had no money to sponsor, you know, the initiative. Okay. And, but they had money for something else, but not money for training of our youth. And we are still appealing to well-meaning librarians because there's a need to have the youth trained in so, the era of science and technology. People who have who will be able to do something with their mind and hands that will solve problems in the society. Okay. So we are appealing the government to be able to support the kind of ideas, innovation, uh, to be able to have Liberia move to the next level. Okay, Mr. Teller, thank you very, very much. It's been a pleasure having you here um, on the show this morning. Uh, it's an extended edition of the show. It's uh, 32 minutes on the flip side of uh, 10 o'clock. We had to play host to Mr. Teller this morning uh, for this time because, you know, is somebody who's uh, breaking about something essential for our uh, society. So thank you very much, and I uh, wish you uh, success in your endeavor. Uh, as you said, you've written the president of the republic to speak to him. Uh, I hope you know that conversation uh, can be fruitful, and the outcome can be um, something that will not just uh, you know benefit you as an individual, but no. you know uh, li li Liberians at large. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. Thank you, Mr. Gazi. All right, so folks, that's all the time we have to be here on this edition of the show. Uh, you can join us on tomorrow Tuesday at uh, eight o'clock when we will be here again with another amazing, amazing uh, thunderstruck and informative edition of the Today Show. My name is Yekezi Zobel, and uh, I've been here alongside my colleague, uh, Imara Paling David, who has been, you know, uh, asking questions behind the camera. Thank you very much, and join us tomorrow. Bye-bye.